This video is designed to help guide you through the screens of the MEARTR Revision 4.0 in order to set up your AC input control. Other revisions may show slightly different screens, but this video should get you through the basics of programming. Please note that this video is not meant to go over every possible scenario, but rather give you an idea of how to program your system for your particular setup. Please refer to your owner's manual for more in-depth information. AC in is designed to allow the inverter to only connect to an AC source during a specific event. Generally, you would use this if you had grid power and only wanted to connect to it in the event of a low battery charge or perhaps a certain time of day when the grid is cheaper. Starting at the main screen of your MEARTR, press Control. O1 AC in control should be blinking. Press select. By default, this should say auto connect, which means as soon as the inverter sees AC power on its input, it will connect to that source and use it to pass through to power your loads and charge your batteries. Press select to edit the setting. Turn the knob. VDC connect means that you will only connect to the AC source when your batteries hit a particular voltage and will disconnect when the voltage rises. This is almost like an auto gen start, but uses the grid instead of a generator. Turn the knob. Time connect is where the inverter only connects to an AC source during a particular time. Turn the knob. SOC connect is similar to VDC connect, except that it uses state of charge rather than voltage to connect to an AC source when the batteries are reading low. Turn the knob. AC in disabled completely disables the inverter from connecting to your AC source. It essentially acts as if the AC input breaker was turned off. Select the reason you want the inverter to connect to the AC source out of the options we just went through. Press select to save this setting. Now we will edit those parameters. Press the setup button. Turn the select knob to 02 Inverter Setup. Press Select. Turn the knob to 02C AC In Time. You would edit this setting if you selected Time Connect under AC In Control earlier. If you didn't select Time Connect, this setting doesn't matter and won't be utilized. To edit this setting, press Select. Turn the knob to adjust your connect time. Press select to save. Now we'll tell the system what time to disconnect from the AC source. Turn the knob to adjust your disconnect hour. Press select to save. If you selected VDC connect under the AC in control menu, turn the knob to AC in VDC. If the batteries get down to the connect voltage, we will connect to the AC source until the batteries charge up and reach the disconnect setting. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust your connect volts. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust your disconnect volts. Press select to save. If you selected SOC connect under the AC in control menu, Turn the knob to AC in SOC. If the BMK reading gets down to the connect SOC, the system will connect to the AC source and will disconnect once the batteries are charged up to the disconnect SOC. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust your connect SOC. This can be anywhere from 20% up to 99%. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust your disconnect SOC. This can be anywhere from 21% to 100%. It must be higher than your connect SOC. Press select to save. Now that you have successfully programmed your AC in controls, you can press meter to get back to the main screen.